We've been looking for a way to, to help explain the importance of following the, the military mandates for, for safe pressures and, and temperatures when doing aircraft washing. The total aircraft wash system is a mobile unit that will provide up to 14 gallons a minute of aircraft safe temperatures and pressures for aircraft washing. So 140 degrees Fahrenheit and no more than 175 PSI is the mandate. That's TO 1-1-691. It's a tri-service manual. It's recommended for all military aircraft. The idea here, the premise here is that pressure isn't what really cleans the aircraft. It's volume, a lot of water, right temperature, gets the job done. So we ran some tests. We, uh, we sprayed uh, several pieces of wood. The first example we had is from the Taws. This is 175 PSI at five gallons a minute. We didn't lose any paint at all. This is an aircraft safe number. We started out at uh, over a foot away from the aircraft and then brought the nozzle in on a controlled test. Even at its, at its uh, closest, we did no damage to the wood. Next, we put the, uh, the TO specified number eight 40 degree nozzle on here and ran that same test. As you can see, as we got closer to the board, we started taking paint off. And as we got even closer, we've got, uh, we've got wood being removed. It's not a, an exact example without doing it on an aircraft, but it, it does highlight we're, we're removing wood with the pressure from that, from that pressure washer. Lastly, we've got a number eight 15 degree nozzle, which is a very common uh, setting for a standard off the shelf pressure washer. You go to the hardware store, or the superstore, you're gonna end up with something similar to this. You can see that the damage caused by the pressure washer has actually gouged and removed wood. What we don't want is the wrong pressure or temperature being used, uh, forcing water into areas where it shouldn't be. We're gonna break paint seams, we're gonna break lap seals, we're gonna push it past hydraulic seals, and we're gonna do damage to the aircraft. Using the, the right temperatures, the right pressures, is the best way to make sure that we're preventing corrosion and yet not hurting the aircraft.